This is your Mormon today evening episode for Monday, April 4th. There is no getting away from fluctuating prices for petroleum products, so says Energy Minister Kerry Simmons as consumers began paying more for gasoline, diesel, kerosene and liquefied petroleum gas from midnight on Sunday. On March 16, government capped the VAT on petrol at 47 cents per litre and the VAT on diesel at 37 cents per litre initially for six months to shield customers. Minister Simmons says Barbadians must focus on conserving energy. We capped the VAT because government has control over the VAT. Um, we cannot just remove the VAT because obviously there are substantial amounts of other financial commitments that government must still honour. Um, but it was an effort to intercede in the marketplace to assist the consuming public. Having said that, the throughput price of the gas, which is of the, the pet petroleum product, which is what we are actually purchasing it at on the international market, is still fluctuating and is still relatively high. Um, if the fluctuations continue upwards, then we are going to have to bear the brunt, as will almost every country on planet Earth, have to bear the brunt of that, that knock-on effect. Um, it is true not only of gasoline, but I must tell Barbadians that now is the time to seriously think about conservation. At least one case of child abuse is reported daily in Barbados and one case of sexual abuse per week. At the launch of the island's first Child Abuse Awareness Month this morning, People's Empowerment and Elder Affairs Minister Kurt Fumfrey says one case is one too many and he wants society to do more to crack down on the scourge. Every number is a, is a case and that some cases are more than one person. So if I say there were 529 cases, the likelihood is that there are more than 529 persons involved in that case. So there were 529 cases of, of abuse in 2019, of which 22.8% uh, would have been physical and 21.5% would have been sexual. In 2021, there were 489 cases of which 23% were physical and 22% would, would have been sexual. Uh, so far, the numbers seem to suggest that in January, there were 41 cases, uh, 12 were physical, 10 sexual, and 18 cases of neglect. I think this neglect trend is something we really have to be, to be mindful of because neglect will invariably lead to these other things. Um, in February, there were 42 cases, 12 physical, 6 sexual, and 23 cases of neglect. And this doesn't speak well to Barbados. And some people may argue that it is a good thing that the numbers are not increasing, but the fact is that the numbers aren't decreasing either. Um, I think we have to be very mindful of these numbers. They are, in my mind, they are still staggering. I know Child Care Board is doing a lot of work, and you know, it's easy. The government is a very easy target. It is easy to blame the government for everything that is happening in Barbadian society. But the reality is that people live in families, they live in communities, they live in wider societies, and all of us have a responsibility, and all of us have a role to play in reducing these numbers. Meanwhile, mandatory reporting of child abuse is on the cards for Barbados. Minister Humphrey revealed that government is working closely with UNICEF to ensure all cases can be reported and investigated. Um, I think we have to be very mindful of these numbers. They are, in my mind, they are still staggering. I know Child Care Board is doing a lot of work, and you know, it's easy. The government is a very easy target. It is easy to blame the government for everything that is happening in Barbadian society. But the reality is that people live in families, they live in communities, they live in wider societies, and all of us have a responsibility and all of us have a role to play in reducing these numbers. Three siblings are counting their blessings after being rescued from their vehicle, which ended up teetering on the embankment at Spring Garden today. Thanks to initial help from a good Samaritan and then officers from the Barbados Fire Service, the family emerged unharmed. A grateful Elsa Boyce Williams praised God for delivering the family as she recounted the event. But we are not hurt or anything. It is just that it went on the side. But God... God, boy, when you know God, let me tell you, when you know God, God is protect you. So God has protected the three of us. I mean, three brother, sister, sister, my mother last children. But we are not to go. God protected us. And if he kept us on that side. I don't know it was like that. We didn't know it was like that till we get out. Now we get out, we realize how it was. 
it is dangerous. But when it went, when it came on my side and it went back on him, it was like God hand was on it. God hand was on it and he just stood there. Oh, I'm so glad that God is a good God. All the time God is good. And I prove it today. Now for today's COVID-19 update, the Besta Santos Public Health Laboratory recorded 222 new COVID-19 cases, 101 males and 121 females, from the 884 tests carried out on Sunday. The cases consisted of 50 persons under the age of 18 and 172 who were 18 years and older. There were 69 people in isolation facilities, while 1,738 were in home isolation. As at April 3, there were 375 COVID-19 related deaths. There's regional and international news after this short break. More oxygen means more energy, means more adventure. Cure Oxygen, natural spring water infused with more oxygen to improve your energy, immunity and performance. The next generation of hydration. Cure Oxygen, nature's ultimate water. Caribbean Cool is a refreshing juice drink that contains 100% vitamin C that you can enjoy any time of the day. It has a refreshingly awesome range of Caribbean flavors. Moby, orange, fruit punch, pineapple, sorrel, and pineapple coconut. Suitable for any occasion. Caribbean Cool. The regional news, Trinidad and Tobago's economy grew by $5.7 billion over two successive quarters last year, from $38 billion to $44 billion. The statistics were released by the Central Statistical Office in a statement. The CSO says the quarterly constant price, gross domestic product, increased by 8.9% in the third quarter of 2021. The CSO notes the quarterly current price, GDP, increased significantly by $5,577 million or 14.3% from $38,987 million in second quarter 2021 to $44,565 million in the third quarter of 2021. The energy sector accounted for 29.9% of constant price GDP in the third quarter 2021, while the manufacturing sector accounted for 18.2% of constant GDP in the third quarter of the same. On the international front, Brussels is pushing for a tougher fifth rung of negotiations against Moscow following the atrocities revealed over the weekend in the Ukrainian town of Bukha. And now following the revelations in Bucha, a small town northwest of Kiev, Brussels is pushing for a tougher fifth round of sanctions against Moscow, which means an embargo on energy imports from Russia is back on the table. But not all member states have the same appetite for an immediate ban on all fossil fuel imports. We have to, to cut all uh, economic relationship to Russia, but at the moment it's not possible um, to, to uh, cut the uh, gas supplies. We need some time, and so we have to differentiate between oil, uh, coal and gas at the moment. While well, the previous four packages of unprecedented sanctions are already in place, they haven't managed to stop Putin's war. This makes the energy option the most significant one so far, as the director of the Italian International Affairs Institute explains. We finance, uh, through our energy purchases of oil, coal and gas, uh, 850 million euros per day. Um, so if we were to stop providing that 850 million, uh, would that war end tomorrow morning? Probably it would not. But it would probably sort of uh, last far less time than what it would do otherwise. So this is serious money. That's news, but for the very latest, visit our website at www.barbidastoday.bb. You can also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, or like us on Facebook. And sign up for our breaking news alerts via WhatsApp. We're also on Izumi Media and Bus Terminals, as well as Screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. You can also hear us on Mix 96.9 FM and Capital Media HD 99.3 FM.